Today, I wanna show you how you can animate your desktop background in both Windows 11 and also Windows 10. By default in Windows, you can set a picture, a solid color, or a slideshow as your background. <sighs> Those are all kind of boring. A video is way cooler than that. First, we'll look at how you can get this app. Then we'll look at some of the customizations and lastly, we'll also look at what type of impact it has on your system's performance. All right, let's check this out. To get Lively Wallpaper, head to this website. You'll see a link right up above, and I've also included a link down below in the description. There are many different apps that provide this type of functionality, but I think Lively Wallpaper is the best. It's free, it's open source, it offers tons of customization. It's also really simple to use. It supports multiple monitors and it just has all of the features that you would want an app like this to have. The development team is really active. So if there are bugs, if you have feedback, they respond to all of that. So all in all, this is just a really solid app. On the website, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find the download section. And here you have two different options. You can get the installer or you can get it through the Microsoft Store. So which option should you choose? I would recommend getting it through the Microsoft Store. When you do that, you'll get all of the updates automatically. With the installer, you'll have to manually check for updates periodically. Once you launch the app, you'll see an experience that looks like this. To apply one of the animated backgrounds, you simply click on it. You can also right click on a background and you can customize it. Here, for example, I could set the color, the amplitude, the speed, and even whether it should show a rainbow. Each background offers its own set of customizations. Some of the backgrounds even interact with your mouse movements. The default backgrounds are all pretty nice, but you might get tired of them. Over on the left-hand side, you can click on the plus icon and you can add even more backgrounds. Here, for example, I'll drag over a video of one of my YouTube videos, and then I could watch Kevin all day long. Maybe that's a little bit too much Kevin. Down below, you can also enter in a website address if there's a video there. For example, you could type in a YouTube video URL and YouTube has tons of great looping videos. Down below, you can also click on more wallpapers and this will take you to the developers Reddit page where you'll find all sorts of additional looping videos that you can use on your desktop. In the intro, I mentioned that this app has a ton of functionality and down in the bottom left-hand corner, we can click into settings to see more of this functionality. First up, under general, you can decide whether or not this app starts with Windows. Under performance, you can decide when this app should run. So let's say you have an app that's full screen, or maybe you're running on battery power, you can pause this app. Next, you have wallpaper. You can decide how the video should fit, and you can also decide the quality level. Next, under audio, if your video file has any sound or audio associated with it, you can decide do you wanna play that audio, and if so, you can decide what the volume level should be. Next, you have system, and this is a really cool feature. You can set your taskbar to appear clear, and there are also a few other options as well. And the last category is miscellaneous, and there are a few more settings here. If you have multiple monitors, up in the top right-hand corner, you can click on this icon, and you can decide whether you want it to play on just one monitor, or if you want it to span across multiple monitors. To access Lively Wallpaper, down in the bottom right-hand corner in the system tray, you'll see an icon. When you right click on that, you'll have access to some of the most common controls. Now, of course, all of this functionality is pretty phenomenal, but you might be wondering what is the impact on your system performance? If we open up Task Manager, you'll see that it doesn't really use that much of your CPU. It also doesn't consume that much memory. 
However, when you look at your graphics card, it places a little bit of a load on that. I noticed that it uses anywhere from 7% all the way up to 15%. Now, of course, under performance and settings, you can set it so if you have an app that's full screen, or maybe you're on battery power, you could set it to pause the background, and that'll reduce the consumption of those resources. So you could make the call on whether you think this app is worthwhile. I think it offers a pretty nice background and I think it's worthwhile. If you now have a much cooler background than you did when you started this video, please give it a thumbs up. To watch more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. All right, I'll see you next time.